Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to Crystal Visions 1111. Let's get right into your love reading and see what's going on here between you and your person. What are they thinking? What are they feeling? What are their intentions? Also, please remember this is a general reading for the collective. Not all of the messages that come through will resonate with everyone watching. So please just take what resonates and let the rest go. I'm constantly being reminded of you. You are always on my mind. They think about you all the time, guys. Constantly on their mind. Always being reminded of you. Perhaps the universe is giving them signs and synchronicities. Perhaps they're seeing things wherever they go that remind them of you. Hearing something playing on the radio. Seeing something on the television. Even if they're walking around, whatever. Smelling something. Everything is reminding them of you. And... That is something that I feel is making them realize that this connection between the two of you is something that's very special. It's very significant in their lives. They may try to push thoughts of you away, but I don't feel they're able to do that. I want to be honest and tell you what is going on in my life right now. And they may want to tell you everything that they're dealing with. And I feel that they no longer have you to be their sounding board. They no longer have you to be the person that gives them advice or guidance with whatever they're going through. If they're having problems with their job, their career, their family, other stuff going on in their lives. And I feel that they want to let you know what they are dealing with. And I do feel for some of them, I feel like some of the people that you're asking about today are going through troubles. I feel like they're having problems in their life and they really want to talk it out with you and they feel that they have no one they can really talk to about it, no one they can trust because they trusted you with these things. I can't stop thinking about you. Yes, we know. You're always on their mind and I do feel if they try to stop thinking of you, thoughts just keep trickling back in. In the middle of the day, when they're trying to work, when they're trying to work out, whenever they're trying to do whatever they're trying to do, but especially at night when they try to go to sleep. That's when the thoughts, that's when the memories, that's when the nostalgia really kicks in. They take trips down memory lane, relive your memories, relive your adventures, relive the wonderful fun times that you had with one another. You are my favorite obsession. Okay. This person, your person needs to stop thinking and take some action here. They are kind of like going in circles with this thinking. Lots of thoughts, obsessive thoughts. Now, the other thing is if they're having obsessive thoughts, you're going to pick that up from them. You're going to hear those thoughts, feel those thoughts, Feel and experience whatever your person is feeling and experiencing because the connection between the two of you is very powerful and intense. So if all of a sudden, out of nowhere, guys, you start thinking about them and you were doing something completely different and you were focused on something else and it had your full attention and boom, here comes a thought, here come a bunch more thoughts, just a lot of thoughts just cycling in like crazy that is them thinking about you very intensely and you will pick up that energy from them. I'm not running from you. I'm running from myself. And this is very true. When a divine masculine is on the run, they don't run from the divine feminine. They're running from themselves and they're running from the spiritual growth and they're running from having to grow up and they're running from having to evolve into this person that they need to become so that they can be authentic, so that they can be their authentic self and share this connection and share this relationship with you. And they know that in order to do that, they're going to have to look at themselves in the mirror through your eyes, through that twin flame mirror and really understand, see, recognize and acknowledge the things within themselves that are deficient behaviors that aren't necessarily the best behaviors um, and really start making some changes in what they do and how they act and what they say and how they treat people. This is about them having to work on themselves, having to grow, having to do inner work and release whatever it is that is keeping them stuck from being able to have this connection and this relationship with you, but will also eventually keep them stuck from being able to move forward in other areas of their lives as well. 
I never meant to reject you. My heart was saying yes, but the fear was just too overwhelming. Okay, does your person really in their, well, let me rephrase that. Guys, is your person always in their head? This is a lot of mental stuff going on here with your person. And I do feel that there's a disconnect between their head and their heart. Their head and their heart are not in alignment with one another. Their head at the moment, especially right now, is much more powerful than their heart. They're thinking, they're overthinking, they're obsessing. Their heart was saying yes to this connection. They felt that love. They feel the opening of their heart chakra between the two of you in alignment with one another. But their head was going, oh no, you can't allow yourself to do this. You can't allow yourself to have this relationship. What if they find out what you're really like? What if they reject you? What if they abandon you? And on and on it goes. A lot of running in circles, a lot of mental chatter. Your person really needs to just allow themselves to get into their heart and operate from there. But this is something that they are working on. This is something that they have to work through and evolve past this behavior. And you know what? They will. I'm afraid of going all in with you and then losing myself in this relationship. Fear is holding me back. Fear. And that's what all of this thinking is doing. What if, what if, what if, what if, what if? What if? What if you just fall in love and the two of you live happily ever after? Not all this other what if stuff, all this other what if stuff is craziness, but their fear to them is real. You don't feel that same fear that they do. Your fear is probably more along the lines of, well, what if they don't come back? What if we don't reunite? What if we don't move forward? What if they don't grow? What if they don't change? Their fear is more about the fear of losing control of themselves and their emotions in this connection and to you and what that means. That means that they're going to have to put forth effort and energy. They're going to have to be emotionally mature in order to sustain this connection and this relationship with you. I wish we could just start over. And you know what, guys? You will start over. There's an opportunity here for fresh starts, new beginnings between you and your person. I will make things right between us one day. I promise. And so I really do feel that this is what your person is saying to you ultimately. They will make things right between you one day when they are ready. They know how to find you. They know how to reach you. When they're ready to stop running and stop and turn around, they will embrace this connection between the two of you and allow the two of you to come into union with one another. This is your reading for today, guys. I hope this was helpful to you and your situation. If you don't mind, please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and type 1111 to claim this reading. Have a great day, everyone.